Let's keep rolling, and we will move to the Vikings at Giants. Minnesota, New York. Minnesota opening up at minus five, now minus five and a half. This total opened up at 44 and a half and is now at 45. I, Kirk Cousins has been so bad. So bad. This is such a good football team. And then you have a quarterback playing terribly. 27 to 36, 233 yards last week against Chicago. Bef- six sacks on 51 yards on six sacks. Two fumbles, one resulted in a turnover. The week before, in their win over the Raiders, 15 of 21 for 174 yards. He's playing terrible. So we have one team here in the Vik- or the Giants that's trending up because they believe in their quarterback, and we have one team struggling because they don't believe in their quarterback. The Giants do believe in Daniel Jones. I lean towards the Giants plus 5.5, but I don't think that I want it any part. I don't think I'll actually make it to the window unless... I hear this is a spot that you like as well. Donnie, Vikings, Giants. Yeah, no, you know, it's one of those things where we always talk like stock tips and stuff, you know, buy low, sell high. The Giants aren't going to be any higher than they are at this point right now. Oh, Danny Dimes and, you know, this and that and the other. They beat Tampa. They were getting railroaded by the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers at the half. Had a nice comeback in the second half. Jameis Winston stinks in that football game. They end up losing. But, hey, credit Danny Dimes. It was a nice offensive effort with, you know, Saquon Barkley going down. Last week, I can't take anything out of the game last week because I even the pick six contest early in the week said, you know what, I'm going to go Washington plus three in this game. Offensive line should be able to hold up. You can run the football and then by the end of the week nobody was playing for the Washington Redskins and they completely imploded so now we don't even know who's going to be at quarterback for the Redskins coming forward but besides that taking a look at the Giants team right now they're as high and cresting as they're going to get at this point. Last week was the perfect storm for the Minnesota Vikings. They got embarrassed. They played on a wet, terrible surface. Kirk Cousins, maybe he's not the quarterback. This is the perfect tonic and elixir to get that Minnesota offense back on track against a horrific Giants defense that lost two more linebackers last week playing against the Washington Redskins. Perfect time to buy low on the Vikings. They should win by seven or more this weekend. All right, I will stay away from the Giants, but I just don't believe in Kirk Cousins at all. But we've had Tormino talk about how Cousins eats against bad teams, loses against good teams.